Okay guys, this is what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be mounting our meter box, our RV temporary power box. We're gonna be mounting the uh, conduit, weather head, and we're gonna be wiring it. So I hope you stick around to the end. I hope you get something out of it. All right, here we go. close up real quick of this and there's your 30 and your 50 and your 20 uh, GFCI and that's the basic wiring for right now I'm leaving these in here and I'm taking these screws out and what I'm thinking is I'm going to flip it up then tighten these screws up that way I can mount hit the mountain boats here now it looks like there's not a hole there but there is it's just a little sticker so okay we'll hand this back to you and you can zoom in how you want so we can cut these pieces out of here. the hole this is one place where we're going to cut them method that way I see it. If it's gonna hurt them it'd be different from the ice. Water's not gonna kill them. But I tell you one thing, water will teach them a lesson. I don't want to make no animals rights people mad at me but hey come on. I didn't hurt them. See how quiet it is? It'll last for a little bit and then it'll start again. <laughs> but just not as bad. This one right here, I've already put this flex glue on it. And you can see it's sticking out around there. You'll want to do that, and I'm, and I'm going to do that on my rigid conduit. I'm going to put it on there. I don't want any leaks in here. So, whatever glue you choose to use, or, or sealant you choose. Okay, now we're fixing to just take a look real quick. Now I've already had this out, but I'll take it out again. We're using two inch conduct. This is a 200 amp. It's made by eating too. I figure I'd keep it in the family. Right. Um, I think, that this is your meter box. I think, Cutler Hammer used to own this company or something. I can't remember like that, but Cutler Hammer's got a lot to do with it. And you, if, you're, if you're ever on the internet and you're hunting for this stuff and you got CH, some, it starts out with CH on the product number, uh, it's probably uh, Cutler Hammer numbers. And uh, some, of, some of it's the exact same thing. And, uh, all right, so this is and I've got this little thing up here and reading I showed you the glue that's you know I'm gonna get close right there you know if I take Right. Then, uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's the six foot mark. That's five and a half. So that's where I want to center that, facing that way. Yep. You just so fun. 
funny. You're so funny. Making fun of an old man. I won't tighten it up as of yet. He's on there. You have to lean this over because if you don't, you know, I don't know why that thing turns like that. But you have to, it's going to take me a month of Sundays to do this. Alright. I'm cleaning the end of my rigid conduit. We measured and it's supposed to be like, I'm going to need an eight foot piece that come in ten foot, so I had to saw it off. It ain't like perfect, perfect straight like I like, but the one thing you want to do is clean these burrs off like such so you can't possibly cut your hand or anything like that. And another thing, more importantly, the inside, see how I'm doing my finger? If you think you're gonna cut your hand, um, don't do not do that real hard now uh, before you actually uh, uh, file it down a little bit. But you do not want your um, cables uh, catching any kind of burr of any, any kind. Okay, and uh, this piece of pipe cost me a pretty, a pretty penny. Uh, and matter of factly, I'm a little upset at myself for buying and paying what I did. I won't tell you. Matter of fact, my wife don't even know what I paid for this as of yet. And uh, but. Uh, there's there's two plates. I live in Mount Eagle. Hey, hey. What's going on? I'm fixing to put my uh, conduit up. Rigid conduit. Word to the wise. I'm I'm taping it right now. Don't buy conduit in this town. Got a little groove there that fits in there, so water not, shouldn't leak in there. I asked the guy at the store about some putty, and in a way, I wished I had a got it, but I'm gonna see how comfortable I am with this. One thing I really don't want to do is because this don't, I don't know if there's any old folk watching this, but I've heard tell them that there's such thing as pot metal. And I, yeah, I know it's aluminum. But I think you can break it. Damn. I mean, I darn sure want to do that. I'm going to have to bleep that out. What I just did. That's on there pretty damn, pretty darn snazzy. Man, I got to stop saying that. Okay. I'll wait. But... One thing I'm going to do is kind of go through the motions here just a second. The 
this here is supposed to stick out one of the things foot and hang. I think I'll have this, these at the bottom rather than the top, I think. I don't guess it matters. Maybe it'd be more pleasing to the eyes. Now, a little little one will go through the, let's see what I'm at, nope. There we go through there like such. Right there. being at the top may be better so it ain't making such a turn maybe you know the main thing is I gotta keep keep some wire thought these things were a little tighter you know but they're not they're just basically setting up there This one wasn't a cheap one. I mean, this is standard fare. This is, yeah. Now they got some, I think, screws on. This other part is on there real, real tight. So it's not gonna pull it down. That's on there. Okay, there's the uh, meter box. And this is the uh, temporary power panel box. And it's already got, I already put the nipple between the two. But here is the issue here. Uh, I have to, uh, fire mold generator up and uh, I'm gonna slim down me a piece of a two by four to fit right up there those little spacers I cut from a treated piece of uh, two by four they're about a half inch okay I've uh, hooked up my service wires um, it, there is no polarity of such because it's alternating current. This is this right here is your neutral. It goes to the center tap of the transformer on the pole, and this is is one hot. Or, and it's like L1 and L2 basically, but uh, I don't pay no attention to that. It's just that this is on the outer taps of the transformer this is the center tap of the transformer 
from here to here will be 120 volt potential between here and here will be 120 volt between the two you can make 240 right 240 110 110 and uh, if you got a big panel a lot of times you you know down there you'll have different circuit breakers on one side or the other and, and keep in mind you you really need to uh, stagger them and and so you don't offset the transformer too much i wouldn't just load you know one side up even though it is 120 volt you don't want to load one side of the transformer up you want to keep it balanced you know one here one there one there i'm talking about when you get down here the circuit breakers that's what i'm referring to all right and when i go down just for the sake of doing it it won't matter this one here i will go all the way down go through here and i can just say any mini mighty mo and uh i can pick either this one or that one all right but i'll probably come down to the one on the left do this and i come the one on the right come down and i'll tie it to this one center tap of the transformer will go right there for the neutral okay all right now it's supposed to fit.